going back out to uh, to Jacqueline, who today I guess you're working off all that pie and tarts that you had yesterday. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. They were <laughs> so Spring good. Ridge I ate Farm. way too many. And now I'm paying for it, guys, because this is <laughs> I our should be stuff. in there with you. Yeah, you should, Bob. You ate way too many of those cherry tarts. Okay, let's take a look right now. We are doing um, squats. Brad Anderson here at CrossFit North Burlington. He's going to teach us the basics. So if you don't know anything about CrossFit, where do you start, Brad? You always start with the squat. So here at CrossFit, um, the squat movement is something that we use 80% of the time. So it's crucial to work on your squat right from the get-go. Okay, so where do we start? What's the first position? First thing you start with is what I call the vertical jump position. So. Uh, the the jump the jumping position is the most powerful position that we have. Okay, so, so it's like you're about to like it's throw a, a dunk. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. All if you're right. going to jump up and grab a basketball rim, that's the position you'd be in. Okay. Okay. So to get into the vertical jump position, yep, pick one foot up, put it down, pick the other foot up, yep. put it down. You're there. Okay. The second key is uh, a nice lumbar curve, and I use the analogy of closing the car door. So come home from the grocery store, you got a bunch of bags in your hand, you're like, shoot, I left the car door open, you bump the car door closed with your butt. <laughs> that's a good analogy. Yeah, we've all done it. That's, uh, or that's closing the car door. Okay, okay, so butt's out. That's second key. Third key, uh, Superman chest. So guy's on the beach, sees a girl walk by, kind of puffs his chest up. We've all seen it. <laughs> <laughs> it happens. Yeah, um, that's the Superman chest. Okay. Okay, so you pull your shoulders so back. So you've got nice a nice curve chest. in your back. Yep. Good curve in your back, yep. uh, nice big chest. Mm -hmm. From there, you want to make sure that you pull the weight back on your heels. Okay. So these muscles in the back are way stronger than the muscles that we have in the front. Okay. So we want to make sure we use them. So if you keep the weight back on your heels, then you'll be using these nice big muscles at the back. So one, once, you, once you're in the vertical jump position, close the car door, Superman chest, weight back on your heels. I'll try this from there, out. Yep, drop down to a full depth Ooh. squat, and drive through your heels on the way back up. There you go. Good. All right, everyone, you're going to try it with me? Let's see this. It's harder than it looks. It really is. And this is only the basics. This is the basic. <laughs> this is day one. Then you add the weight. OK, so another basic move that a lot of people don't do properly is the push-up. Right. So you're going to teach us how to do a proper push-up. I sure will. OK. So proper push-up. Yep. Uh, get down on the ground. Uh, and, and I see this all the time. So people will start with their hands turned in. And that's wrong? Yeah, it is wrong. So they, and then they get up on their toes and they, they dip their shoulders forward and a couple of things happen with their hands turned in. One, you're using smaller muscles so it makes it a lot harder for you. And two, uh, you can get a little bit of an impingement in the shoulder. We which don't want that. No, which creates a mechanical wedge and prevent, could prevent you from getting all the way down to the bottom. Okay, so, so what is the proper move? So a more efficient way of doing a push-up yeah. is to turn your palms forward. You want to externally rotate your upper arm, so turn your elbows forward. Okay. And bring your elbows back at about a 45 degree angle to your body. Good. Yeah. And press up. Good. You want to make sure now two things have to happen for it to count, <laughs> for, it to count for a full push up. You have to come all the way down to the ground, so your chest has to hit the ground at the bottom, and you have to come to full extension at the top. And that's why he's the pro. <laughs> but we've also got some really advanced students here at CrossFit. Just quickly, come here, I want to show you Martin. This advanced push up is unreal. And this is only the beginning of what we're going to show you here at CrossFit North Burlington. We're taking a break, but we'll be right back. I know the focus is on the kids this morning, but Brad Anderson here at CrossFit North Burlington, he's telling us all about CrossFit. Everyone's getting a workout in right now, Brad, but when you come to CrossFit, where do you start? So, so every day when you walk in, there's going to be a few things that are posted on the board. Yep. yep. So the first thing you're going to start with is a warm-up. It's really important to warm up your muscles. More importantly, it's important to warm up your nerves as well. So, uh, so every member goes through a warm-up. When we're finished with the warm-up, uh, we do some stretching, or what I call prehab. It's prehab. Prehab. It's crucial to take care of your soft tissues. If you don't take care of your soft tissues, you're just a ticking time bomb. It's not a matter of if, but when you're going to get injured. So we, we do some stretching. Okay? That's tough. And yep. then moving on? Yep. Once you're done the prehab or the stretching, we move on to the strength. So uh, the best way to get stronger is to lift heavy stuff. So we do a, a short segment where, where we do some strength. Today it's push press. Okay. And then finally do the workout of the day. And then we do the workout of the day. And the workout of the day is the, is the high intensity piece that CrossFit's really famous for. So the workout of the day is typically a, a short, intense workout. And that's what you're seeing an example up here. And the really nice thing about CrossFit is you come in, you may look at the board and be a little bit intimidated. 
but there's always a coach there. Absolutely, yeah, there's always a coach here. So people say to me all the time, uh, they say, you know, the stretching. I, I wouldn't normally do the stretching, but it's awesome. There's a, there's a coach here every single time to make sure you do the stretch, make sure you do it properly, make sure you're doing the strength properly so you're not going to get hurt. And what the things are. So a loaded hamstring, people might not know what that is, sure. but you are always there to show them. Absolutely. Now what's another benefit of CrossFit? So as, as you can see, um, one of the best benefits, yeah, is, is the community aspect. So, uh, so CrossFit's an open source uh, fitness regimen, but the, uh, one of the biggest benefits is the, is the group atmosphere. Yep. So you come in, you get to know the people, they support each other, it really is amazing. I mean, the group of members that I have here are absolutely unbelievable, I've been really lucky. They, um, they support each other, you push each other through the really tough workouts, and you congratulate each other when you're done. I love that. Now another thing, so it's not only building as a team, but you set personal goals for yourself, and you can see that on this chart right here. Absolutely, yeah. So, so here's where we keep track of all the members' benchmarks. So on the left-hand side, you see all of the members' names. Up across the top, uh, you see a few of the benchmarks that we do. So some of these are named workouts. So they're workouts that people are aware of. Some of these are uh, personal achievements. So like a one rep max bench press, for instance. Yep. So, when so we'll be doing the push press coming up. Yep. So we'll see how much weight that I can lift. <laughs> these are some of the benchmarks. And for instance, this is a box jump, Brad? It sure is. OK, so this is just one tiny little box. That's OK. Martin is jumping on three of these and some larger boxes. So yeah, I'm gonna take some lessons from Martin too, I think. But we're learning a lot here at CrossFit North Burlington. You want us to grow? Because we're gonna teach you too. We'll be right back after this quick break. Dance the night away, grab somebody, drink a little more. I don't think Coach Martin needs any more health news. He's absolutely <laughs> perfect. We're just watching. We are in awe We're of this guy oh, and what he's doing. It's unbelievable. Isn't he incredible? Guys, you've got some before Can you, tell and him, after can you ask pictures. him how old he is? Martin, they're wondering how old you are. This is Martin Templer. How old? I'm 50 years old. 50 wow. years old. So CrossFit is for all ages. And you can see the proof right here. We've got a before and after picture to show you. So the before picture, this was how long ago, Martin? That was May 2009. May 2009. So you've only been doing this for a year and a half? A year and a half now? Uh, probably about two years now. So two, two years, years now, two and a half years. And this is where he is now. Take a look at the after photo. Just unbelievable. 50 years old. Oh, they were together. Okay, well now you've seen the before and after. Martin, you can do so much here. Why, why did you do or choose CrossFit? Well, actually, it was a friend of mine who did, and it's all functional movements and everything's scalable. All natural. So they're all natural movements. Yep. So you, you normally squat, you pick things up off the floor, it's natural movements. Uh, and these were people that were older than you that inspired yeah. you? Yeah, basically a friend of mine who's a uh, bodybuilder naturally, mm -hmm. and he was competing back in 2008, and I saw these three men they were 65 and 70. Wow! And like they were in good shape and I thought, you know, if they can do it, I can do it too. So that's what got me started. But what I need to know is how many times that you come a week? How often are you working out? I normally show up three times or four times a week. So that's not too bad. Most people try to work out about five times a week and you're only coming three to four times. Yeah. You can do it. It's yeah. manageable. So what is, what's your favorite thing that you've learned so far at CrossFit? I would say it's the pull-ups. The pull-ups. So I can barely do a pull-up. Yeah. One sec. I'm going to attempt this because I just want to show the level of difficulty and the handles are here. Okay. So let me show you my pull-up that I can barely do. I have to jump to do my pull-ups. And I'm not very good at it. Martin here can do a pull-up clap. And that's just one of the many things, one of the more advanced things that you can do here at CrossFit North Burlington. And you don't even need a box. Okay. Check this out. Wow. Martin, that is just incredible. 50 years old, and there are all different age ranges here at um, CrossFit North Burlington. So advanced, you can't even use your mic there. Yeah, I know. So um, you can see the results. What it, this is the pull-up? Yeah. Is there any other move, more advanced move that you can show us, Martin? I could do a burpee. Okay, let's see a burpee. I'm gonna try out some burpees pretty soon, but Martin's burpee, just gonna demonstrate quickly. 
chest hits the ground. Yep. Jump up and fly up. Okay. All right, I'm doing That's some burpees. One. That's one. And up next, we're doing more burpees. I'm going to try a workout of the day. So you want to stay tuned. We'll be right back. Welcome back. 5.51 right now, and I'm just getting discouraged watching all this CrossFit yeah. because these people are amazing. Well, Dying actually, yeah, out. and Coach Martin's quite the inspiration. 50 years old, he looks 20. It's ridiculous. No kidding. Did yeah. you guys see me attempting the rings? Everyone oh, yeah. else makes it look so easy. Wait, what well, got same me was thing a, here. Martin jumping in the boxes. <laughs> like, what was the height there? It was unbelievable. I know, I know. It's unreal, and they are really high, so... It's even hard to just get up there in the first place. But now we're going to do some push presses. Brad Anderson, he's the coach here, and he's going to teach me how to do a push press. This is just the training bar. We'll see if I can lift the real bar coming up, but where do we start? <laughs> Great. So the shoulder progression exercises start with just a strict shoulder press. Okay. So you want to check that your grip width is about one thumb outside your thighs. So okay. That'll put your hands just outside your shoulders. Yep. Pop the bar up to your chest. From there, pull your chin down and back. Press the bar straight up over your head. As soon as the bar passes your head, you're going to drive your head forward and come to full lockout overhead. Good. Back down. Try that again a couple more times. Good. Perfect. So that's a strict shoulder press. Okay, now, that feels push, good. Yep. Push press where you're going. Um, we're going to do exactly the same thing. Yes. Except this is kind of a cheater shoulder press. So you're going, okay. to, yeah, you're going to add a dip and a drive with your legs. Perfect. Okay. That's awesome. So you're good with the dowel. Now grab the bar. Okay, we're going to try the real thing. Yep. Now this bar is how heavy? That's a 35 pound bar. There's a 35 pound bar, but you've also got 45 pound have, bars. Yep. So and then people actually put weights on these bars. I'm not that good, so I'm just gonna try this. So I'm doing a, a mini squat. Yep, you're gonna do a push press. So yeah. check your grip width again now with the new bar. Pop the bar up to your shoulders. Woo! There okay. you go. Good, and <laughs> dip, drive. Press up overhead, good. Okay. Back down to your chest. Good, dip, drive. Okay, there you go. Here's nice. More, just like that. Feels good. Yeah, you got so it. So there are other variations of this. This is the push press, but we've got some lovely demonstrators once again. Bob here. What's he demonstrating? Um, Bob's is this gonna a do, deadlift? Bob's going to do a push press as well. So okay. He, Bob pops that up to his shoulders, and again, dip, drive. Good. Wow. And back down. Bob was telling me he's lost 40 pounds yeah, doing CrossFit. He's lost so some great Eight. results. And Bob, now, you're Natalie, 65? 65? Yeah. Good for you, Bob. Now here's Natalie. One of the good things about CrossFit too is a lot of the time women feel really intimidated to lift weights. It's great to come here because of that team atmosphere, don't you find? Absolutely. You get all the support that you need. Now look at this. So what are we learning here? Uh, wow. Whitney, Whitney's doing a clean. And how much weight is that? That is 40, 40 pounds plus a 35 pound bar. You go, girl. Yeah. That is awesome. All right, Shelly, I'm going to throw it over to you. Do you think you could do this? Uh, not a chance. Yeah. <laughs> it's <Stop>. fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> Planning a winter vacation. This is the time to start. CrossFit North Burlington, Brad Anderson. He's going to teach me some really cool things that you can't do at a gym. It's true. So what's this? That's, How do I do this? This is a tire. So what we're going to do is we're going to flip this tire. Okay. Um, and, and this is a leg and a core exercise. So what I'd like you to do, stand under the tire. You want to keep your back flat. Drop down, hands underneath the tire. Use your legs to lift the tire up to the top and then press it over. Okay. Okay. And it's heavier than it looks. It's a pretty heavy tire. This is pretty hard to do. Okay, so lifting, using my legs. Oh yep. my goodness. Good. Woo! And so flip, just and doing flip one. it over. There you go. Awesome. Okay, so this is something else. This is a fire hose. Now you guys actually put these on your shoulders and run with them. And this is about 30 pounds, you said, Brad? Is that right? About 30 pounds, yeah. Okay, now we've also got another fire hose. And this is something else that you can do with it here at CrossFit North Burlington. You drag it on the ground. That's pretty heavy. That's, that's so a really that's heavy So that's a good hose. workout. Yeah. But moving along, come over here, Luke. We're going to show you what are these, Brad? So, yeah, so we're swinging sledgehammers at the tire, and this is a fantastic core exercise. Great way to get out some aggression. <laughs> and a great way to work out, for sure. <laughs> so what is this working? So this is a core exercise. This, this will work the muscles in the middle of your body. Yes. Uh, they, they call it midline stabilization as well. Yeah, so your abs. If you want a six-pack ab, 
this is a good way to get it. And then this is the fire hose once again. Yep. What so, are they doing here? So this is something that's called battle ropes, and we use the fire hose here because it's it's a pretty heavy way uh, to do the battle ropes. And this is a core exercise as well. This this is a really good whole body exercise, but it's really good on the core. So some fantastic exercises that you wouldn't be able to do at a regular gym. No, you wouldn't. I mean, most gyms don't have fire hoses and tires just laying around. No kidding. <laughs> okay, well we've got a whole lot more coming up. We're going to teach you about CrossFit here at CrossFit North Burlington. So stay with us. We'll be right back. Let's get back to uh, not only Jacqueline, but Oh, I'm looking for Bob, the 65-year-old. It could be my yeah. stunt double. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Well, yeah, Martin was 50, the trainer, but yeah, Bob at 65. Like, I'm just blown away by these guys and what they can I do. I know. But you know what? There are also 13-year-olds that come here, so it's really for everyone of all ages. But right now, we're getting to the workout of the day. This is what people come for on a daily basis. Now, even though it's not really that long, Brad Anderson, he's gonna tell us why sometimes they're not as long, but let's get them started, Brad. Sure, all right, you guys ready to go? Okay, here, here we go. Three, Three two, two, one, one go! Okay, so, you were telling me sometimes the workout's not as long, but it's intense. Right, it's been shown in study after study that you can get as much out of a six or seven minute workout as you can out of a six hour workout. So really notice um, improvements. Absolutely, we have members here that uh, after having a baby have lost 50 and 60 pounds wow. in three to six months. Several of them actually. And what you can see here is just how everyone really works as a team. Absolutely, yeah. So You're doing this together. It's almost like a little mini competition, yeah. so they, they push each other. So not only are you kind of competing against other people, but you're also setting your own personal goals. Absolutely, yes. So there are moderations to certain exercises? Yeah, so no, for instance, pull-ups. Not everybody can do a pull-up like Martin, um, but every exercise can be modified in some sort of way that you can do it. So Bob's doing a pull-up with a band. Um, some people are doing pull-ups with, uh, with a box and they're jumping. So there's a way to modify any workout. And what workout is this? This workout is called Cindy. So this is one of the benchmark workouts. Cindy's a really tough workout. It's five pull-ups, 10 push-ups, 15 air squats. For how long? And you do as many rounds of that as you can in 20 minutes. In 20 minutes? In 20 minutes. So that's, that's a workout. That's a workout. And that's Ooh. actually one of the longer workouts. Okay, well, I'm going to try this out. So I'm starting with five pull-ups. Yep. And I'm going to do the moderation of jumping. Yep, so you can do the so jumping pull-ups. I'm getting my pull workout in today. Okay, one, <laughs> two, three, <laughs> four, five. Great. Now, right into 10 push-ups. Okay. Yep. And the nice thing is, too, you're here. So you're watching. You're Absolute. making sure everyone's doing everything yep, correctly. Yeah, make sure the technique's oh, good. So, for instance, you have to go all the way down to the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Okay, Bob and Annette. <laughs> I'm throwing it over to you. No more for me. What am I at, Brad? I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> Good for you. Doing the full push up, not the modified. Yeah. I tried. That's, you did an excellent job. Thank you, guys. <laughs>